Hello, YouTube. I'm so sorry I made a big boo-boo. The videos I had made of us building the tank stand and everything, I kind of ran out of space on my phone and I deleted them. I did share them to my Facebook page, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's just a little more hassle. Um, <clears throat> one thing I did do is if you will look right here along the side of the tank, starting from the top, working my way down i sat there and filled it up filled this tank up gallon by gallon by gallon i mean gallon by gallon one gallon jug filling the whole tank up and i marked every gallon now the ones sticking out are 10 gallons that way i have a measuring system on the tank to where if i want to do a 40 gallon water change i come over here 10 20 30 40 it's right there and then i know to drain it right there and that's 40 gallons and that way it's it's easier for me but and as you can see we don't have i don't have enough gravel to um uh to uh cover the under gravel filtration i do have some more gravel coming i'm waiting for it to be delivered um and one thing i might do is um before i add that i might take all of the gravel out put the filtration down and then pour it on top of it i'm not sure which way i'm gonna do it yet but pretty much have this over here hidden but as you can see but anywho, we got the filtration going. Now, we did have a slight problem with air seeping into the piping. See the pipe? We had air seeping right here. I can't really move it. And I'm my ass is short. Right there. So, we put a piece of flex tape right there. Right there. And right there. Okay? And that seems to have seems to be working as far as preventing air from getting in to that because when it has an air bubble it makes a horrible well i mean it's not really horrible it's just more of an annoyance but it makes a gurgling sound and then you have to unplug it let the air escape but at the same time every 12 hours it'll turn itself off yeah but Anywho, we finally got that fixed, and as you can tell, you cannot hear it. Just listen. You can barely hear it. It's wonderful. My husband loves it because it doesn't have the waterfall effect because he said that would annoy the living hell out of him. But I haven't got any fish yet. I did test the water. I've done... First one I did, first water change I did, I did 20 gallons which is to here, okay? First I did a 10 gallon, then I did a 20 gallon, then I did 40 gallons, okay? And let me tell you, instead of it taking me four and a half hours to do it, it all, the 40 gallon took me an hour, the 20 gallon took me 30 minutes, and the 10 gallon took me 15. So it's a very simple, easy to use system. And I'm absolutely in love with it. And I have tested the waters. This is the high range, high range pH. This is the ammonia. Still got like a greenish tint to it, but at the same, I can't tell. Does that look yellow to y'all? Because it looks yellow to me. Meaning that I've gotten the ammonia out of the tank. And then the pH balance is like a bluish green color. It's like a bluish green light, 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 light. So I'm going to take some of my water up to the local fish store here in Covington. And I'm going to have them test the water just to be, just to have like a second opinion. Because even though that's normal, that's normal. The pH isn't 
I'm not sure about it, but I just want to make sure that the tank is okay and let it run for a month through a weekly tank, 20 gallon, like a 10% water change once a week before for an entire month before I get fish. So, and, but anywho, there she is again. Ain't she pretty? My husband wants me to paint the door, but at the same time, I kind of like the fact that it stands out because it adds to the border that goes around the tank. And to me personally, I like it. What do y'all think? Tell me in the comments below. Until next time, you guys. See ya.